Hello guys and uh, welcome back to some more Victoria 2 Portugal campaign, Heart of Darkness, lovely lovely stuff. Uh, in the last episode we fought a very pointless war against the Americans and uh, we uh, discovered something interesting though um, after it, after the war. Um, if we look at the civilization map mode we can see that the Chinese are no longer civilized which means that we can go ahead and annex some of their territory for um, very little infamy compared to what we had to do uh, in you know the previous invasions of China I guess uh, and for that very reason alone we are going to invade them um, it's kind of a trade-off uh, we are kind of trading uh, infamy wise that is uh, I'm going to prioritize um, taking over more of uh, China than taking over more of Spain I'm still going to take one more region of Spain I believe we can afford that uh, when it comes to our infamy as well as our um, as well as our oh, so many events, as well as our, um, our you know the amount of years we have left in order to get rid of the infamy. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Only 1.5 infamy. I believe I can live with that. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, since we got so little infamy for the initial justification, I think we're also going to request a second territory. So I think we're going to try to take two territories from the Chinese in this little war of ours. Uh, originally, I wanted to take the Fujian region, Fujian, whatever, uh, but I think I'm going to take maybe this one or maybe this one. Let's see. No, I, I, I'm feeling like this one. I believe this is a tiny, a little bit better. I'm not sure though. Uh, but you know, I guess it doesn't matter. That I guess I could also take some more of the coastal territories, get some of this tropical wood. Let's take a look at the. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, no, I think that I'm going to take this one. I think it's going to look a little better on our borders, or make our borders look a little bit better. Uh, but another thing I've kind of thought about too is uh, release some more of our colonies uh, into Dominions or into, yeah, whatever, satellites, whatever you want to call it. I did that in the last episode when I released India um, as a uh, puppet, puppet state of ours. And I've considered doing it with some other states as well, simply to get rid of some infamy, because you get you lose five infamy per state you release. So I'm, I've been thinking about doing Johor. It's only four provinces with a kind of pretty limited population. Um, so I would much rather have I would much rather release uh, Johor, and you know lose five infamy for that, and then um, I guess use those five infamy in order to take another province off of the Chinese. Uh, I believe that's a fair trade. That is going to, um, I, be, I guess, be profitable for us, or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let's take a look at our navy. Has it? Yeah, it, is, it has arrived, so we're going to start putting our troops on the boats, sail them over to China. Yeah, and another thing I wanted to do before we began the war against the Chinese is that I wanted to turn as many of my, uh, my protectorates into colonies uh, as I can. Simply because I, um, once we take uh, parts of China, they will become colonies, and as a result, we can't really afford. We will we will lose a bunch of our points basically, so we won't be able to turn any, any more or any more protectorates into states. Um, so it's the question is just though, who will we do? Who will we do? Okay, let's take a look at. Um, uh, I want. I want to see, you know, um, first of all, the population. I want to take the most populated ones. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to see what's more populated than others, simply because we have so much people over here that it's it's pretty much all green. That's kind of funny. But I believe all of these territories are already colonies. Not this one, though, but I don't think that's... have a too much of an amazing population. I'm not sure. These areas are... Why? Zero people live here. What the hell? That's kind of weird. Why do we... There's a bunch of railroads here, so I, I would kind of expect some people to live there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the RGO outputs. Uh, I don't know, what what is the most valuable of sort of the raw materials? Cotton is in high demand, uh, so I guess we want to do that. Coffee then, is that... No, coffee is not too valuable, so I think we're going to focus on upgrading the ones that produce cotton. Unless we have some other resources that I would love to take. Oh, we got some nice rubber over here. But it seems like we have turned... No, this one is still... Okay, so we're going to do that one. 
That one is already colony. We want to do all the rubber provinces into um, into colonies, simply because um, then we get more rubber to our industry to produce cars and all that fancy stuff. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, no, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, yeah, I think that I think we've done all the rubber, so we're gonna start focusing on the. Oh, we can't do that. Huh. I guess we don't have enough points. Uh, so I guess we can only do these l very limited, pop these very lo lowly po populated ones. That's cool though. I can't, I don't mind. Let's just go in here and do it. Let's just, let's just click some random ones. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, I guess. Uh, this one, sure. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, I thought it was, um... Oh yeah, I can't turn them from... Okay, I guess I can't turn them from Protectorates into Colonies from that menu. 16. It says we can still do some. Portuguese South Angola. Okay, let's do that one. No? Here we go. Uh, Bornu, Bornu? Rift Valley. Oh man, I should know where these things are. Oh, there is that one. Darfur, Amahura... Darfur, where the hell where the hell is Darfur? I don't know. Darfur, here we go. Okay, here it is. Let's turn that one into a colony. You can also do um Amhara. Let's find out what that um Um no Amhara. Uh, uh, no? Amhara. I guess there's no actual Province that is called that then. That's kind of lame. Uh, can't click it, so we can't do it that way. Uh, I don't know where that. Oh, here it is. Portuguese. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, sweet. Okay, no more colonies can be created. Um, we can also do some more social reforms, but we can't really afford that at the moment. Right? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could afford a little bit. We're our economy is doing pretty well at the moment. So. Question is what we want to do though. Minimum wage, safety regulations, uh, subsidies, and pen or pensions. I think we want to do safety regulations because they reduce the everyday needs of people. So, so people can be a little richer, and when people are more rich, they uh, become more happy, and as a result, they are less likely to revolt. Now look at that. The fascists have. Um, Go away, liberation movements. Uh, the fascists have uh, calmed down. That's nice. They are no longer a threat, I believe. So that's uh, that's always cool. How is our standing with Spain? Uh, let's take a look. You know, no, we are we're pretty not friendly towards them, which is what I want to do. Because if you uh, if you have a very bad relation with a country, then there's a s very small chance that you will get a free Casas Belli against them. And, I mean, I'm not, like, counting on that, but it would be a nice little bonus. I think it's just... I see no reason to not, you know, utilize that. Give us some more tanks here. It's a very tank-heavy army right here. I guess we want to spread them out a little bit. We'll give them... We'll take two tanks over there. And then we'll split this army in two. Prop some tanks in there. And this last one can go there. That sounds or that looks pretty nice. Let's take a look. Let's take a look over in the okay, let's should actually we should split up split up some of these armies. Let's take a look over in uh, here. So one horse did not join the boat. Why don't oh okay, I guess it was a little bit more than that. Uh, we're gonna split this army up then and take the most the um, biggest units. Oh, let's fall back, fall back, we'll always do that. I think we're just gonna disband these people. I mean, I'm too lazy to bring them back. They did uh, an honorable job. Have we, no, we're very close now to getting our justifications, so I mean, it's uh, it's cool. <laughs> we actually got a tiny army over in Macau, it's pretty funny. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of troops here, but you can't gather them because you can't cross these these places. Because there's ocean there, which is lame, but, you know. I guess it's realistic, you know, not being able to walk across an ocean. 
Uh, here we go. Can now invade them. So let's do that. Start off with uh, Fujian because that's the main province I want. Let's find where they are. Clear War, the Man Concession. Fujian. Uh, should we call our allies? No, I mean they will. They will pretty much all of them will join us, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Fujian, let's take a look. War of the Fujian Concession. I like it. Okay, let's start funding our military. Ooh, this is going to be expensive, but um, not much we can do about that. Increase the taxes a bit. Yeah, we also need to go ahead and grab a. Let's do the fascist again. Because um, they have some nice war co or war policies. Let's tax the crap out of the people so that they understand that we mean business. And then let's blitzkrieg these fuckers. They won't know what hit them. Okay, so they have mobilized, which have given them, you know, a, a decent military score, but nothing, nothing amazing. We should, we should easily be able to conquer the Chinese. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I guess, yeah, we have some troops on the boats. They're... where are they? Uh, I, I don't know why I could... I don't know why I can see this part of the ocean. Uh, ooh, okay, that's weird. Where's my navy? For some reason my navy has... oh, no, there it is. Oh yeah, I guess I can see it like that. Oh. No, it's... Uh... I think there's some sort of bug going on here. But uh, never mind that. I'm gonna send this um, this army uh, or this navy that is up north up to here. Uh, oh, hello. Have they become civilized? No, they have not. Okay, that's nice. So they become communists again. Is this the third or is this the second time they have become communists? Can't remember. I guess it doesn't matter that much, but you know, which is a cool little detail. I believe this. I believe it's the third time we invade them, though. That's um, all good things are three, isn't that the, a saying or whatever? A bit discredited, okay, that's not nice. Didn't your mother teach you that discrediting people is not, is mean? Yeah, we should add it, we should be able to add another war goal, or not, because fucking jingoism. I, I, I never really understood that mechanic of the game, the jingoism part of it all. The fact that you have a, have a certain amount of support for it. I mean, I'm the king, I should just be able to do whatever I want. I guess I'm a constitutional king, but you know, still, I have the power to just change political politi political parties whenever I want. So I mean, it would make sense that I could just you know do what the hell I wanted in war. Traditionally, war is not necessarily a very democratic procedure, so I don't see why I shouldn't be allowed to do that. But oh well, I'm not going to care too much about that anymore. I'm just keep playing the game, I guess. Split this army up. Make them spread out a little bit, I guess. That should work. Uh, War score is uh, closing in on our goal. So we should be able to claim at least this one province very soon. Uh, here we go. They will already give us peace, but I'm not interested in that quite yet. I want to... I want more. More territory. I guess we're just going to have to sit around and wait out until the support for Jingoism goes up. I guess that's one advantage of our sort of support. We have been, the fact that we have been kind of supportive of fascism in our country. Fascists are usually very jingoistic, so... And here we go, more fascism. Sweet. Uh, nope. I want more. More territory. All your territory are belong to us. Okay, let's put them over there. Okay, that takes forever. Oh, 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 okay, maybe not. Just capture the capital, like, while we're at it. Because why not? Yep, seems like we're doing a nice job here. Come on, freaking... Uh, ooh, La... La Carfunua. Is that in Spain, or is that somewhere else? We have already, oh no, we have actually not cored this one, that's kind of disappointing, but oh well. Uh, yep, it is in Spain, 
right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we have like the entire uh, western coast of Iberia cored up as proper Portuguese territories. Uh, this is Galicia, I believe. I don't know if the yeah, in the game this these two provinces are also a part of Galicia. I don't know if they're that in real life. They will not. These provinces were not a part of Galicia in EU3, but I'm guessing that using EU3 as a um, as a way to decide how the world works is or how regions are divided is not exactly the best of options. Uh, let's take a look at the nationality. Uh, no, the Portuguese culture hasn't really spread too much. Uh, there are some uh, decent Portuguese minorities developing, but it's, it's not, you know, it's not amazing. Could have been better. Ooh, look at Bissau. I guess the majority of the people, not necessarily a majority, but it's like the biggest, the biggest people group in that region is now Portuguese. Same applies for um, Transvaal. Except from the capital, the, or the old capital, that is. Oh well, never mind that. Uh, ooh, what's this? The Carabino have actually reclaimed some of the some of the population in um, in Cuba. I guess that's something we're just gonna have to live with. Can we add a war goal yet? No, we cannot. Freaking jingoism! Why? What is? Why does it keep going down? This is so dumb. Maybe we have to. Maybe we have to just declare two different wars. I mean, a truce will only last five years, so we could potentially go again, go against them like a second time in 1929. But I have, I have like a feeling that they're going to be civil, civilized by that time. So I would really prefer them to. I would really prefer to win the or get another tech territory in this war. So let's just conquer as much as we can. And uh, we'll just, you know, hang out and wait, I guess, for the for the Jingoism to rise. Hopefully it will rise to the level we need. If not, then, uh, then I don't know what to do, really. Can we do... Yep, we can do limited access roads at this point, so I want to do that. Got our infrastructure upgraded. So it's nice. So let's see, how close are we now? Yeah, yeah. Gain Bissau. Oh, Bissau is a core now, isn't it? Huh. It's pretty cool. Part of Africa is a core of Portugal. I mean, I guess that's been true for a while down here. But Transvaal is um, have was you know before we came here, it was dominated by Europeans, the Boers. I believe they're sort of they're um, a sort of um, they descend from like Dutch people. So they speak this like weird language, which is a mixture of Dutch and you know local African languages. I think that's the history behind them. I I believe I, I saw like a documentary about them sometime well, a long time back, before I gave up on TV uh, about you know the Boer Wars or something like that. So, ooh, create a bunch of colon. Oh, hello, points. Where did you come from? Well, I'm not gonna complain. Let's just create a bunch of um, bunch of colonies then. Shit. Uh, where? Then make one there. Make one there. We may want to make sure to make this one before we annex the parts of China. Like that. Like that. Uh, let's take this one. Um, I wish there was a map mode for this. Or like it, it's. I wish it like showed up in the colonial map mode, but it doesn't. So because I mean the colonial map mode is really pointless at this point. I mean it's not. It doesn't show anything. It's really only useful, you know, in the period of colonization. You know, the er early game. So something to note. Paradox. Fix your game. No. Or I guess they could. F I guess, um, there's a there's a, quite a bunch of things I would like to change in this game, or like that I would wish were different. But I mean, all in all, I believe Victoria is one of my all-time favorite games. I really like this game. I've spent an embarrassing amount of hours in this. Hours that I probably should have spent on something. Something else, I guess. But never mind that. Um. My pathetic life can be kept to myself. I don't. I guess you guys don't have too much of an interest in Bornu. Uh, where is that now? Bornu. It's over here. Let's make a colony over there. So 
I don't know, maybe this, yeah, our economy is doing, is doing a lot better. I'm not, I don't know if that's because of, you know, the fact that we turned um, some of our provinces into, or our, our protectorates, that is, into colonies, but, um, wow, the, 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 just the jingoism thing has only gone down. That's kind of lame. I guess we're just going to have to sit around and wait then. I hope that this improves. Ooh, airplanes, airplanes. There's some Korean airplanes. Koreans. The Koreans can fly around, I guess. Let's build some Spanish planes as well. A bunch of Spanish planes, actually. Let's build some uh, fresh Portuguese planes from the capital. Ooh, hello. A bunch of African planes we can build. It's just, you know, going here and just, you know, build as many planes as we can. Like, all the planes. We will have a mighty air force, the Royal Portuguese Air Force. And I'm really starting to think that we are not going to get any any more territory out of the Chinese. I mean, with the current situation in, um, you know, the jingoism what thingy, it's really not making any progress. It's, it's only like going up and down. It's not really happening. Uh, let's see. Um, no, it's climbing very, very slowly, but it's... I don't know. We're not going to give up quite yet. I don't know if there's anything we could do in order to... No, there you go. I know it has gone down again. Okay. Um, That's really... um. Oh, whoa, and... Uh, who are you for? Yeah, sure, I can join the war against the... War against the liberation of Prussian Rhineland. What? When did the French gain cores on this territory? I guess they owned it for such a long time back in the day that they gained cores on it. That's pretty cool. Sure, you can. I can help you. Liberate those territories. I don't see why that should be a problem. I'm not going to actually do anything, but, you know. I don't have a reputation, really, for doing much in wars like that. No, I think we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we uh, are not going to get anything more out of the Chinese, which is actually very disappointing but I think I don't think we have you know there's not really that much we can do about it I mean seriously the people of our kingdom doesn't really look like they want it um, but I, I guess that uh, but that really questions how we're going to do in Spain as well do we have a truce with them we do not so I mean I hmm because I believe my original plan was to go against the Spanish and then conquer both of these provinces in one war but at the moment, it seems like that's not going to happen, simply because it's like, um... It looks like it's quite impossible to take more than one province in one war. Uh, which is kind of lame, but I mean, what are you going to do about it, really? You know, so I think we're just going to accept the uh, peace deal against, um... From the Chinese here, and grab this lovely little col colonial territory we have. And then we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we didn't get any more, which is, of course, disappointing. But, I mean, there's not much we can do about it. But I think what we're also going to do is that we're going to start preparing for a war against the Spanish. Because, um, at the moment, we don't have any much we don't have much infamy. And we should be able to lose this 10 infamy without releasing anyone by the end of the game. Uh, so, I think that what we, we're going to remake the plans of conquering Extremadura. Extremadura. Um, because, you know, why not, really? <laughs> we don't have anything else to spend our infamy on. So yeah, I think we're going to do that. Why do our relations keep bumping up all the time? That's not nice. Um, so yeah. I uh, believe that sounds like a plan, so let's... Uh, we're going to start preparing for a war against them. Military score-wise, they're pretty weak, so we shouldn't be that much of a problem, but still. Start amassing our troops against the border. I guess we can send some troops from Asia over there. I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to start sending um, sending troops from uh, Europe. I mean, from Asia to Europe. And once, they have, once they're there, I'm going to end the episode. Because I don't know how long this episode has been going. But I've noticed that I've been making in just in general my on my channel I've been making quite a lot of, you know, long episodes lately. And I, I don't know what your guys opinion about that is. I think I'm gonna calm down a little bit. 
because I um, I believe that um, a lot of people don't have time to watch you know very long episodes. So. But in a game like this, I, I mean, I, I don't have too much. I I don't mind making you know big long episodes in um, Victoria simply because the game. Uh, I mean, it's it's quite a long, it's kind of time-consuming. Actually, Victoria hasn't been that time-consuming. We are closing in on the end, and it's only been like, I don't know, how many episodes? Prussia... Liberate... Uh, demanding peace? No. What? France? What the hell are you doing? Why are you not winning? Oh my god, what the hell? Usually they have oh the front the Prussians have been kind of weak this campaign but it seems like they have um strengthened the oh hello Austria Hungary cool huh I wonder why their prestige has gone down so much because that's a that's a demand if for um, forming Austria Hungary you have to have a certain amount of prestige and you have to have like a you know. Um, under a certain, I think it's under 80 or under 90 prestige or something like that in order to form them, which is why I didn't form them in my campaign. But it, no, it looks like the Prussians are really getting back into the game. I guess we're gonna have to go north then and uh, help them about help them a little bit, which is easier said than done since we can't go through Spain. I wish the I wish the French could conquer this part here so I can you know support them that way, but I, I guess that's not going to happen now then, is it? Huh. What's... Wow. Well, wow, this war has turned into quite a big one. Look at this. And we're losing like crazy. Ay, 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 ay. <gasps> oh, look at the... Look at the Prussians! Uh, if, if they win this war, and as a result of that, conquer this place, and then they go in and take, um... Um, you know, the Flensburg and oh, yeah, whatever how that, however that's pronounced, um, they can form the German Empire. And uh, I, I, I don't know if I, you know, if I whether or not I like or dislike that. Who the, these guys are no longer a great power. Okay, guess. Uh, oh, what we had war with Italy. Huh. It seems like our alliance is really failing. Why isn't this a great war, by the way? Uh, or I guess, well, I guess the yeah, the Italians are not a great power, so that's why. So we have a transport fleet in the area. Yeah, we have some we have some boats here, so I think we're just gonna start shipping troops over to over to France. Help them out a little bit. Friend, the French have been pretty loyal to us, I think. And I'm not sure though, but you know, you know. Uh, okay, now where did I? Okay, there it is. Okay, uh, yeah, they're getting there. Um, but I'm, instead of going to, s I want them to go, go to here instead. Get them, get them as close as possible to the front line. Have I? Yeah, I've gotten them on the boats. So I'm gonna. No, no. Oh shit! Oh crap! Um. Okay, I'm not funding my navy either. Shit. Yeah, this war is starting to, you know, really be expensive at this point. Need to do some. Uh, I'm gonna have a quite a harsh tariff on my peoples, but they have to deal with it, I guess. That's how war is. Oh yeah, we're totally losing this crap. Oh, retreat, retreat. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was really bad. <sighs> our navy should have been able to do better than that. Uh, is it? I think it's our naval technology that's doing us, because our naval technology is really, mm, you know, crap compared to there. You can see all these like things over here that we don't have. Because I've kind of neglected my navy. Uh, now I guess I have to pay the consequences. What the? Look at the fucking Austro-Hungarians sailing around in sailboats in 1924. Okay, that's <laughs> interesting to say the least. Oh shit, okay, let's put them back on the boat. Because um, they're busy fighting the Austro-Hungarians. I'm going to use that to my advantage and try to sneak past them in order to get some troops over to France. Uh, the awesome thing would be if they could win this fight, though. I don't think they can. But it would be a cool turn of events. Only that... Oh, yeah, I guess we lost a bunch of these transport ships. Oh, that's lame. Wow, look at this. Oh, yeah. oh whoa, okay, that's an army right there. Holy shit. Mm, ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're gonna, um, gonna move our troops over to Paris to defend that. 
I'm also going to send all my um, my fighter ships or whatever you want, my battleships and my cruisers and that kind of fancy stuff. I'm gonna send them into the fight here. Hopefully we can win or turn the turn the naval tide into our. Oh, oh shit! Really? Oh crap! I didn't really I really did not need a revolution right now. Never mind. We should be able to defeat it. Uh, put these guys back here. Prepare them for, for picking up some more troops. Oh, we got some troops in, uh, some revolutionaries in Africa even. Huh. Fancy. Uh, oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, China is very usually a very revolutionary place. I mean, that makes sense. Um. Uh, we, didn't we have a lot more troops than this? Oh, here they are. Okay, I get it now. Let's put them north. Just, you know, just make them go around here and just kill it all. Ooh, we can also build a nice army over here. Let's do that. Let's build a bunch of uh, four infantry, two more infantry, some artillery, some planes, and uh, some air. No, did I? No, I believe I built planes there, so I'm gonna build tanks here. Because uh, I think what's. Um... What was I trying to say? Yeah, and I, yeah, we don't. I don't believe we need any cavalry anymore, simply because we have um, we have planes now, and they sort of fill the same role. Oh, yeah, yeah, we seem to be winning this one, so we hopefully will be able to kill some of the annoying Prussian navy that is preventing us from. Because here we go, uh, we can now maybe do an attack. Uh, wow, we are really losing this war. The Prussians are really strong compared to what one, what one would think. Uh, let's attack here, just for the hell of it. We seem to be losing quite. A oh shit, that was a very bad idea. Actually, I knew I, kn I know a lot better strategy than that. Yeah, we're actually losing as well. So let's just quickly see if we can retreat here. Oh wow, so many men are dying. Okay, that was stupid. That's not how you fight a war. How not to fight a war featuring green forests. Oh yes. Because this navy has... Uh, wait, what? Uh, oh, sh why? Okay, what the hell? Did I... Uh. So it seems like instead of sending my actual battle fleet into the combat, I sent my fracking... <laughs> My freaking transport fleet into it. Oh, that's lame. Okay, I guess I need to build more then. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just considering giving up at this point because we are really losing this war. Turning the tide of this war is going to be quite difficult. Because I, I believe I could win if I had uh, access through Spain. Because then I could like mobilize a bunch of people and just pour troops into this region and create a truly fight. But at the moment, it, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we are the leader of the war, yes. Yeah, we are. So if we if we decide that this war is no longer something that we want to be a part of, then it ends. Yeah. Well, the French still have some troops, I guess, but really nothing to speak of when you compare it to the hordes of the Prussians. Uh, I think we want to see if we can fight a little bit longer. It really depends on our victory or loss in this fight here. Okay, so yeah, we need to deal with these rebels as well. Get them out of our territory. How's the... Uh, oh, oh, the Royal Navy arrived. Wait a second, where's the... Well, that's not the Royal Navy I remember. Where's the, like, the Navy I sent from, from here, over to Europe? Let's take a look at our navies. Where are navies at the moment? Ooh, first fleet. Okay, I guess they got renamed. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are losing this one really badly. That's not good. Uh, retreat to port. The uh, we are we are defeated. Uh, yeah, we still have. Okay, so we got it now. We got a decent transport fleet here. So the question is just. Uh, oh shit, we're gonna get militancy from... Acquire Amelia. Yeah. You know what, I think we're just gonna proceed with this one, because I I want to finish this. Um, I want this to get over with before they demand even more. 
Because I, I literally, I like, I, I'm very confident that I could have won this war. But I, did, I just didn't have the time for it. I just didn't have, you know, the opportunity or whatever. But we, you know, we remained there, we kept our allies, so that's good. Ooh, the Spanish are having some issues. That's uh, that's nice. Maybe maybe it's time to um, declare war upon them again. Yeah, but that's what that what what that was was. Fuck English! Why are you so broken? Uh, that was what we were going to do in the next episode, I guess. Oh yeah, and so much for making a short episode. <laughs> Sorry, I guess this got a little longer than I expected, but never mind that. <laughs> okay, let's bring our troops home. And also, I want to bring some more. I want to bring some more troops from China. Although uh, I don't know, I, I guess we could probably win a war against the Spanish, uh, even with only the troops we have here, simply because we have um, we have so many. We can mobilize quite a lot of people, you know. Compared to, I guess the Spanish can, can mobilize more troops than we can, but still. Um, yeah, I really need. I really need to start building up more fleets. My fleet is kind of, you know, not too awesome. So I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to start building. Um, I'm going to start building some steam transports all over Asia, so we can. Because every war we, it seems like every war we fight, we lose a bunch of transport fleets or transport ships. Because I'm not very good at naval combat, so I keep, you know, misusing them. That let's just recruit a bunch of them. We have the naval. We have the naval power to support. Support it. Okay, let's not start reducing the funding for the military, as well as reducing the taxes of the rich, increasing the payment for administration, social funding, and that kind of fancy stuff. Reduce the tariffs. Okay, that sort of left us in a bad spot. Wow, our our education um, is really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do something like that then. Okay. Uh, ooh, look at that. The Chinese have actually built a navy. Who would think? Oh, I I guess it's the Swedish navy. That's the main thing. W by the way, what the hell is the Swedish navy doing over here? And why do they why do they have like? Military suits from like the 1700s. Uh, Ionian Island, okay. Why are they going over here? I mean, they're not at war or anything, so I don't really understand what's going on here. Gunzu. Oh, look at that! The Afghanistan or Afghanistan is once again invading. Um, once again invading China. What are they? So they're trying to take this region. Wow. Afghanistan is turning into a huge blob. It's like going to stretch from here to like uh, all over here. Freaking Afghanistan, man. Crazy stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, I need to start getting stuff done here. Oh, look at that. We now have a name. Portuguese China. Sweet. Ooh, yeah, we have a lot of troops here that I really want to get over to Europe. Let's take a look at the navy. Navy, navy, navy. Where's that? Okay, oh, here it is. Let's bring these guys back. Over there. Hold on, let's, let's just sail them over to... Okay, I guess they need some repairing. No, I mean, they can deal with it, I guess. No, it should be fine. Let's, send, let's just sail them over here. Thanks to the Suez Canal, it doesn't take that much time anymore. A lot less than it used to take, anyways. So, should be fine. Uh, airplane, okay. So, ooh, 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 no, 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 this is not nice. Liberations, liberation movements are getting, um... Okay, so I'm gonna suppress all the ones I can, but it doesn't look like... There's no real liberation movement over here, but they're... They're still gaining, um... Still gaining attention. War justification. Uh, based, uh, should be going down. I don't think it's positive. War just. What are you talking about? War justification? Are you justifying a war against me, Spain? That I have not. They would be quite stupid to do that when we compare our military. 
Oh, we still have quite a lot of naval stuff to spare, so I'm thinking I'm going to build some more dreadnoughts. Because our navy is so lame. That's a little bit much. Four, four is what we can handle, so also build... Okay, can handle that many. Uh, okay, cruisers then. Have we finished the naval bases that we are building in here? No, we have not. I'm gonna wait then for that, so I can build more, um, more, more dreadnoughts. Fuck yeah! I believe you also need to start doing some of these technologies after we're finished with the, the limited access roads. Yeah, let's just make every, let's just make everybody fascists. I don't have anything against that. It's all cool by me. Because, you know, fascists, they are all about jingoism, and uh, jingoism is going to help us out in the war, so... Why why should I complain? Uh, yep, things seem to be doing good. More socialist or more conservative? I want to... I'm going to do that simply because I want to get, I want to get rid of militancy, which is quite high at the moment. And it's also... It's simply... It's, 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 ugh, fuck! It is just increasing as well, so it's not... You know, it's not improving or anything. Yeah, let's let's doing this. And let's. Wh ugh, what happened to my English right now? Holy crap! I'll start with this one because we're building a bunch of boats right now and um, black shirts. Yeah, you can build. You can be as black shirted as you want. I don't mind. Said that quite a bit, bunch of times at this point, but you know, you get the idea. So they have arrived, so let's put as many of them as we can on the boat. Oh, we can actually put quite a bit of them on the boat. Wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. Send these people back to Europe, and uh, once they are here, we are going to stop the recording. And uh, in the next episode, the war against Spain will once again start. How many wars have we fought against those people at this point? It's got to be quite a bit of them. What? Lost? Where? Cap Hytian? What the hell? Is that over here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Communists? Yeah, luckily for me, the they are no... Um, they are not nationalists. If they were, then this would be quite bad, but they're not. Okay, then, I guess we have to send some of the troops you are trying to transport to Europe over here. I totally forgot about the Caribbean. I'm not used to owning... Okay, so we're going to retreat here, so that we can... Run away. We want to keep these tanks. We want to keep these tanks alive for as long as possible until the reinforcements arrive. That's the plan, anyways. Ooh, we should also ally India. By the way, do you yeah, look at that. India has cores and all this crap. That would be kind of cool. Seeing if India could like invade some of this. They don't have cores on this though, for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. It would be cool though if you could like if we could sort of press some of the claims of the Indian substate or like the Indian um uh, the Indian puppet. So we could sort of like make give them a bunch of infamy for taking over land from the British. That would be kind of sweet. Oh, well that's actually something I didn't think about. India's going to get quite destroyed uh when when we start fighting the um, Spanish, because we also we are also going to have to fight the British as a result of fighting the Spanish. So, oh look, at, we're still allied to the Austrian Austro-Hungarians or the Austrians as they used to be, but now Austro-Hungarian. <laughs> look at that. The color is almost the same as Serbia. If I had been Austro-Hungary, I would really conquer Serbia to make the borders look nice. How much infamy do they have, anyways? Uh, yeah, they, oh, okay, they actually have a bit, so they can't afford it at the moment, so. Okay. Uh, anarcho -lib okay, st ah! Stop revolting, god damn it, okay. I'm just gonna make one huge army right here. Uh, I hope, f shit, maybe, I'm, I have a feeling like a bunch of them maybe r rose up in the Caribbean as well now. That would be kind of lame, but never mind. You know what? Not never mind that. No, it doesn't look like anyone came up over here. Okay, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, our country is not exactly stable at the moment. Revolutionary tendencies are quite high. 
which is of course very lame, but what you're gonna do? Uh, I don't think there's anything we can really do about it. So, uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode right here because uh, this episode got a little, little, a little bit longer than I would prefer. It's kind of funny when I started sort of the episode talking about how I my episodes got quite a long, quite long, and I wanted to make them shorter. Uh, so yeah, failure today. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Portugal campaign, and until next time, bye.